A deburring or finishing tool is a device that's designed to remove unwanted material from a part. Typically, you have unfinished areas, you have parting lines. These have to be touched up. Typically, they've been touched up manually. ATI's difference is if we've designed a tool with the compliance of acting similar to a person's hand. It's a difficult job. It's physically intense, and there's health problems that occur long term. This is where robots can come in and can resolve a major problem that many plants have. ATI's deburring tools are unique in that they're all compliant. It means our robot program doesn't have to be perfect for every part, doesn't have to be matched. Now we can have one path that's programmed and the variation between the parts, the repeatability of the fixture, it's not critical so that we can make the whole process that much easier to integrate. We're currently using the deburring tool for aluminum automotive wheels. It's important to have the compliant deburring tool because of the complexity of deburring the automotive wheels. Any delay in feedback during the deburring process will damage the part. We have tried for many years and many different tools to achieve the quality that we have now. The best tool we found was ATI deburring tool. ATI's deburring tool's consistency is very important for us. In our system, the deburring tool is the heart of the system, and it's important to have that tool operational at all times. Without the deburring tool, our system would be at a standstill. ATI's tools can be used on a variety of metal. Also, it can be done on hard plastics. And all of these cases, the key to success is the type of bit you put on our tooling. Acme develops deburring solutions for the industrial market. We develop a lot of these solutions in partnership with ATI. They produce many of the tools that we use to achieve the results that the customer is looking for. Some of the most difficult applications we get into is in the aerospace industry. Very high tolerances on the parts, and in many cases we have variable edges that we're dealing with. Compliance on the deburring tool is critical to us. Regardless of the incoming part quality, whether they have large burrs, small burrs, casting variations, the ultimate result of the compliance is we have a quality part every time. We occasionally have applications that require more of a single axis movement in the tool. The engineers at ATI learned of this, and they got together with our people and developed a new tool just to fit that purpose. There are many good products available to us, but the relationship, the partnership with companies like ATI is what makes our products what they are today. We started using the ATI spindles in 2007, and since then, they've grown throughout the shop. Five out of the seven cells in my department have them. Over a two-year period, a cost to maintain and run the ATI spindles for two robotics cells was $6,000, and with the competitor spindle, it was $60,000. After comparing numbers like that, it was really a no-brainer. The numbers speak for themselves. ATI has a wide breadth of product for deburring and finishing tools. We have different motor speeds, different motor powers, different compliance motions, and that variety allows us to attack specific challenges that our customers are facing. Regardless of the material, the bird geometry, the shape of the part, we can find a tool to meet the job.